So one of the keys to holding more short parts is to not worry about your stroke. Too many people are worried about their path. You know, they're thinking, should I take it straight back? Should I take it back on a slight arc? Should I take it outside the line? Ultimately, it doesn't really matter what your path is. And I know that seems like a strange statement. The thing that matters the most is having the ability to get your putter face back square. So <clears throat> if I hit this putt and I take it back outside the line and cut across it, as long as I can get my putter face relatively square, that almost went in with a very bad stroke. Likewise, if I hit this putt and I really take it inside and outside, that putter face was closed when I hit it, so it missed. But ultimately, it's all about what we do with the putter face. So if we can keep that putter face nice and square when we hit it, regardless of path, you're actually going to get a lot better result. So one of the things that I like to do in training is to get a couple of tees and I just put the tees in the ground like so. So the tees are narrower than my putter. And all I do is I set up square to the tees and I just take my putter back and I try and hit both tees at the same time. So they're both good putts. If I come through and I hit this tee first, I can then see, okay, my putter's open. If I hit this putt and I hit the toe with this tee, I, I can see my putter is closed. So if you just work on keeping and trying to hit both of those tees at the same time, it's going to help you to hit better putts. So if I put a ball in here, it's a little bit, that's about right. So this is a right to left breaking putt. So I'm not going to be concerned at all about my path. I'm just going to think of my stroke. So I got my putter face relatively square through impact and the ball went in. So I've, I remember there have been times in my career where I, I, my bad habit is I take the putter back on the outside. But I still hold putts those days, but I thought, mm, it's not really good. Those days my putter face was coming through square. So I would suggest you have a little play around with it and just try and do some bad putting strokes, but really focus on that square club face at impact. And the two tees like that work is a really good example. So the second thing you can do to help start holding more short parts is that when you're standing over it, and this is probably about a four, four and a half foot part, when I take my setup, I can sort of vaguely see out of the corner of my eye the shape of the hole. But for me to get a good look at the hole, I've got to turn my head. Now, if I turn my head, my shoulders are opening. That's not a good way to start. So I'm always trying to pick a little intermediate target along the way. So here I've got that pink ball marker. You can use a coin if you want to at home on the carpet, and I think it's good to use a coin. So all I'm focused on is not the hole, but just over two feet away is this pink ball marker. So if I can get my putter aiming at the ball marker, and if I can get the ball to roll somewhere close to that ball marker, I'm giving myself the best chance of getting the ball in the hole. So, or the way I like to think of it, to hold a four foot putt, I've got to hold a two foot putt. And if you can do that, it's going to build your confidence. And you can do it on right to left breaks, left to right breaks, straight putts, doesn't really matter. But those two things combined, getting that putter face nice and square and hitting those tees, as in the first example, picking your two foot away intermediate target, and you can certainly do that on the, on the carpet at home or on a practice putting mat at home. Just put a coin down and just get good at hitting the coin. Start with a, a big coin, and then as your skill level improves, make the coin smaller. 
So even if you don't hit the coin, if you hit the edge of the coin from this distance, it's going to help and it's probably still going to go in. So start focusing on that intermediate target, get that putter face square, forget all about your path, you're going to start holding more putts. If you want to improve your short putting, I'm going to put a link to another video that I made a few years ago up here that's going to help improve your short putting.